so this is the voltage rails as you can see we have the v in always the v in is the input voltage we have here the adapter power supply 19 volt usually b plus when you find the b plus or the v bat okay this is the ac or battery power rail for power circuit all power circuit use this voltage okay so the cpu core is for the processor as you see core voltage for cpu so here we have the vccp 1.05 volt for processor input output also for gmch and ich 1.25 volts this is for ddr for the ram but this ram is ddr1 as we have seen before this is the vtt okay here we have 1.2 volt so this this is another schematic this is this schematic is for another motherboard is not for this motherboard here okay so 1.2 volt this is for the gmch 1.5 volt always this is for 1.5 volt always on power rail 1.5 volt for agp 1.8 volt for the cpu 2.5 volt for the ram this is the main power okay and the half of this power is here 1.25 volt for vtt as you can see we have here vtt voltage for ram terminals 3 volt always as you can see 3.3 volt always for rail we have here 3 volt 3 volt v is 5 volt always for us usb connector for hdd hard disk drive optical disk drive etc plus 5 volt power rail 12 volt always in this kind of motherboard we have 12 volt always this is an this is an old motherboard and this is here rtc real time clock rtc power 3.3 volt this is rtc 3.3 volt rtc voltage as you see here we have c in means connector this is this is for digital ground this for analog ground this when you find the sample means reserved okay here. This is the power jack. Okay, here we have the power jack. As you see, this is the DC jack. Okay, exactly like this one. Okay, this is the DC jack where we put the adapter. Okay, this is the DC jack. We have here two switches, as you can see. This is two switches. Okay, as you can see, exactly like this. These two switches. Okay. So here we have the DC jack, as you can see. So here, these parts, as you see, all these parts are connected to the ground. So the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all these parts or all these terminals are connected to the ground. And here, as you can see, the terminal or the pin number 1 and the pin number 2 is connected directly to the power rail as you see here if you check using the multimeter you will find 19 volt so this 19 volt will pass through this PF capacitors as you can see so in one side the PF capacitor is connected to the power rail and in the other side connected to the ground that's why sometimes when you have a dead motherboard you should check this PF capacitors if there is a problem in one of this capacitor means you have a short circuit that's why you should check this PF capacitors near to the DC jack okay here we have a coil l1 means a coil as you can see so this coil also if it is cut the 19 volt will not pass so you should check this coil using the multimeter to check this coil you have to put your multimeter to the buzzer option or to the continuity option and then check it the same its test is the same test as the fuse okay so after this we have here the okay the 19 volt here called also the v adapter okay so here we have 19 volt and also here we will get 19 volt because we have just here a, a coil okay 
So this 19 volt will pass directly to the first switch or to the first MOSFET, as you can see here. Okay, so we have here Q1002. This is the reference for this MOSFET in the motherboard. If you go to the MOSFET, you will find near to the power jack Q1002 is this MOSFET, as you can see. So here we have source, it is connected. So this coil is connected to this to the source of this MOSFET. And here we have the gate. So here we have the drain. As you can see, the drain is connected to the drain of the second MOSFET or the second switch. And then here we have the source. So here we have source, three pins. Here we have a gate. And here we have drain. So the 19 volt will pass directly through the switch and then also will pass through the switch because always the switch will be activated automatically when you put the adapter here. Okay. And then we will get here, as you can see, we will get the V bath. As you see the V bat that we have seen in the previous lecture in the power sequence this V bat will be distributed to the whole motherboard to every circuit in the motherboard as you see here we have here pages by six seven eight nine and ten means this power or this voltage will go to page six where we have the circuit number one, page seven, another circuit in page eight, another circuit in page nine, and page ten. In each page here, there is a circuit, a CPU circuit, three volt, five volt circuit, a 1.5, 1.8 circuit, etc. Okay. Here we have the IC, the charge IC, as you can see. We have its reference is BQ. 24703 okay so this is its name in the motherboard u4 okay so this is the charge ic i will show you this charge ic in the motherboard so so as you can see here we have here u4 okay and we have here as you can see 24703 okay we have here the bq okay and as you see and we have u4 so this is the charge ic so this charge ic contain many pinouts as you can see so here we have in the pin number eight acn and acp so these two terminals or these two pins connected to the Kevin sense or to the current sense, always you will find this resistance in the beginning of every power system in the motherboard. Okay, so this resistance has as a purpose to control the current, the amount of current. So, as you can see here, okay, this is its reference in the motherboard R55. Okay. Then here we have the AC detect. AC detect means AC adapter. In this pin, the charge IC know if the adapter is plugged in the power jack, okay, here or not, okay. So here we have the AC detect, okay. When this AC detect detected by, by the charge IC, the charge IC will stop the flowing of current from the battery and will start taking power from the adapter. And when the IC detects that the, the adapter is removed, it will restart the work of the battery. It will take the power from the battery. Okay. Here we have enable. Okay. And here we have AC cell. And alarm signal, alarm signal means this is a signal that can be activated where, for example, the IC charge is 
very hot when its heat increase okay the alarm will be activated okay and there is other things that can activate this alarm signal if there is for example a short circuit or something like that okay here we have the sr or s reset here we have ec set and ac press okay here we have e bat as you can see this symbol okay means not connected or not used so the signal is not used in this ice here we have the VRF. The VRF is the voltage, the reference voltage. Always in every IC, one of inputs that every IC should have is the reference voltage. The voltage or the reference where the IC can base it in order to generate other voltages. Okay. Here we have the comp. Here we have the NC. NC means not connected, not connected. As you see, if always when you find this symbol, as you see here, means not connected. So here, as you can see, we have EC drive. This EC drive, as you can see, if we follow the signal, this is EC drive. As you can see, if we follow the signal, it's passed through this resistance, and then go directly to this MOSFET as you see to the gate of this MOSFET so the EC drive signal as you can see the EC drive signal control the gate of this MOSFET if it sends a control signal to this MOSFET this MOSFET will let the 19 volt to pass okay here we have the VCC so the VCC is the V bat or V battery is 19 volt. The VCC is the working voltage for this IC. Okay, here we have the power management. The same thing. This is a control signal that is go directly to the gate of this MOSFET. As you can see, here we have the SRP at SRN. So this is also goes to this resistance R. 45 resistance also this is a current sense resistors a current sense resistors okay so i will show you this resistance in the motherboard okay as you can see here we have r45 this is the resistance as you can see here okay we have here r45 okay as you can see and here we have 15 m okay as you see here we have 15 okay the same capacity and we have r45 r45 this is a current sense resistance okay so this resistance always this kind of resistance used to control the amount of current okay so then here in the ic we have other signals like bat p and we have the bat drive okay but this signal is not connected we have the v is the v is as you can see means ground okay so if you follow this v is as you can see means ground it is connected to the ground okay here also we have another signal the v h is p Okay, well, here we have the bat seat, the bat DOP. We have here the ground, and we have these two, these two pins, eleven and ten, are not connected. Connected, as you can see. And here we have the thermal connected to the ground. Okay. So this is the reference, reference designator of this IC as you can see BQ 24703 and this is its name or its reference in the motherboards okay